All right, what's up everyone? We are back. We're at our fourth course. Today brings us to Falling Creek Park, so let's get into it. All right, so Falling Creek Park, it's technically in Bedford, actually. It's not even in Lynchburg. It's just like the town uh, northeast southwest of Lynchburg. And it's a full 18. I'm just going to play the front nine, but they have long and short pins. I'm going to do a mix of both, just kind of whichever one I think is more like going to be more fun to play. Hole one, 305 feet straight down the hill. It's in between those two trees. We're going to go hex off the top. It is like a touch of tail one, so I'm hoping this is going to be like dead straight. Definitely is. Oh my gosh, get down. No. Oh, I hit that tree. It would have been so good. All right, not a, not a bad start there. I like that shot. And it definitely, if that tree is not there, it's pushing past the basket, which makes me feel good that that would go over 300 probably because I think my mids probably topping out at about like 270, 280 on flat ground. It's a nice little first throw here. All right, I feel like this is pretty on brand to have like a really hard putt to start. Outside circle, low ceiling. I think if I really wanted to, I could probably take a knee, but I don't. I'm just gonna try to spin this one in there. All right, way short. I think had I seen like the basket first, I kind of thought it was sitting like in between, but it's sitting pretty well behind. So I think if I just throw like a wide hyzer at the basket, it'd be better than trying to come straight at it or else I think nine times out of 10, you're gonna do that. Hole two. 825, it's a long par four, uh, tall grass OB, definitely one shot to the fairway, and then it's sitting behind kind of all those bushes, kind of uphill too, so two big shots to get there if you want the birdie. I'm imagining this is probably gonna be par, but we'll see how far we can get down on the drive here. Get down before, yeah. Obviously I'm out in Virginia doing world stuff. I've watched an obscene amount of like high tier professional disc golf. Backhand form shouldn't be as hard as it is. I mean, and I get everyone kind of has unique forms, but everyone looks like they throw the exact same. So I don't quite understand where my disconnect is with form right now. It's honestly really frustrating watching these guys throw. It doesn't look like they're throwing hard in the slightest and they're throwing it 450, 500 to 690. It's ridiculous. All right, no idea how far away I am. If we were going to the red basket, nice little pitch up, we'd have a super easy birdie, but we're going all the way up the hill. That dark bush, the basket sitting on the hill behind that. I think I'm just gonna go forehand again and try to play it into the fairway to the left, up the hill, and let's get a four. I'm not quite sure how far that is there, so we'll see if this is enough to even get there. Oh my, I threw that really good. Man, that feels good when you throw it exactly where you want to throw it. Love that. It's crazy. I guess my tee shot wasn't like crazy far, like maybe, I don't know, maybe 350, but I still have probably, I bet I have 100 to the pin, but it is playing uphill. I'm going to go one forehand, one backhand just for practice sake, but I'm going to play, I think I have a high percentage with the forehand, so we're going to play the forehand, but I'm going to throw the backhand as well. Oh, get down. Yeah, circle, backhand. Oh, it's gotta get up. Shoot, left it low. All right, let's knock both of these down, shall we? Oh, yeah. That one got a little high on me. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but just look how scenic this is. This is looking back at hole two, even par through two, not bad. Uh, hole three, pretty fun hole. 345, just a little bit downhill. It kind of goes down and then comes back up. Still a little bit downhill though. So I'm gonna go destroyer still, I think. I might try FX2 just to see if I can get it there. It's sitting right in between those two trees. It's sitting past them, but you gotta hit that gap. Or I think I'm gonna try to go big spiking hyzer past that left tree and see if we can't get something to dive in there. Maybe get in front of the tree? Oh yeah. A little short, I think I'm in circle. Calling an audible on the FX2. I think I'm gonna go cicada on the backhand and just try to throw it kind of the same as I threw that hex on hole one, just nice and straight, maybe a little bit of turn. Oh 
man, I punched it so straight. Mm. Got the left side of that left tree. That's a really good shot though. Sneaky long putt. I'm definitely in the circle. Oh my gosh. Yes. One more. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's gonna be a sad, sad day when I'm not playing like this anymore because I love it right now. Uh, hole four, I think it's at like 785. You gotta get through all these trees and then it's down sitting across like kind of a creek to the right, way down there. The first thing though is you have to get through this first gap to, if you want a birdie or else you gotta throw like the shot of your life to try to scramble to get one. So we're gonna throw, I think we're gonna go backhand because I'd rather fade off there and have open than be pinched off if I don't make it all the way through. Mm. All right, basket is way to the right. Man, I didn't even really throw a good shot for the Reds. Basket's way down to the right. I'm gonna go high hyzer here, just cause it's way too tight to try to go on that right side. Yeah, it's just fine. It's gonna be a pitch up from there. All right, this actually made it a lot further than I thought I was going to. I'm just gonna go nice justice out wide in cause I really don't wanna throw anything over the creek. One, cause it's out of bounds, two, I don't want to lose anything. Oh my gosh. I think that's really close. I actually smoked that. Oh no. Hole five. We're finally playing to the reds. It's 240. Pretty much just something flat that's going to hyzer out at the end. It's sitting right in kind of this first grouping of trees. I'm not playing the yellows. The yellows are 366, but it's like super uphill, super tight. I think the only way I even potentially get there for a birdie is with like a roller and I'm garbage at those. So I'm not even gonna try it. We're gonna go M2 first. So that's good. We'll probably throw a forehand after. Ah, uh, I think that's still in circle. I didn't say anything because there were some people coming and they were making fun of me for playing disc golf, so it kind of hurt my feelings, but absolutely laced the justice in their face. I think it wrapped around the pole, so eh, on them, you know what I mean? All right, my justice is literally underneath where the camera is right now, so it's like maybe six feet. Oh, pulled it right at you. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. I've been doing that on straddle putts a ton, just pulling everything that way, which kind of is unfortunate, but at least we got one to fall. I'll give myself like a half birdie since I made the second one. Hole six, 345, probably my favorite hole in the course right now. Just a big, like you pushing straight forehand that wants to fade like at the end of all these trees. It's right in the gap in between like this line of trees and another line of trees. Really fun shot though. If I mess this one up, super disappointed. Oh, just like that. Messed it up. Uh, actually, not really. Long putt. Had that stayed flat and then faded, I would probably be like 15 feet, but I think I'm probably in like the circle's edge range. If you're watching this video, if you're watching any of our other videos, I'll be back next week. Um, we got the brother battle coming up. We got some other stuff coming up, but make sure to let us know what you'd like to see and what you don't. I think Jacob and I still have things that we want to film and we're not like 100% sure if they're good ideas or not. So basically if you guys just start saying like, hey, this would be like terrible to view and that's an idea that we just like have had written down <laughs> we'll just definitely like cross it off but more so if there's anything like specific that you guys want to see from jacob and i really let us know because we're, we're i mean we're down for whatever well it's been my range like all day today so we'll see get there oh yeah yeah every putt should be like that one as soon as it came out it just didn't have Whole ton of speed. Okay, so evidently the yellow baskets are the more fun layout because that's what I'm doing here. 330, you got like five trees that are all kind of honestly evenly spread out. It's behind the last one. So it's really a big hyzer. There's a tree at the end on the left side that kind of blocks the forehand. So we're gonna go big hyzer backhand, see if we can't get there. Maybe need to get flatter. 
a little short. I think I'm just starting to think that I throw further than I actually do. Because I feel like I didn't throw that one hard at all with the Gorgon, which is one of my furthest discs right now. I'm short of 330. So definitely think uh, my expectations for myself are a bit too high right now. I probably also could have thrown it a bit flatter. But hindsight is always 2020. Way short here and no ceiling to really putt at it. So I'm just going to go forehand straight at it with the zone. Oh, shoot, get down. Mm. And deep on the backside. I think had that been lower, it honestly might have gone in and went straight over the basket. These are the putts you need to make right here. These 25 footers for par. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Doesn't have to be out of my hands yet and I know it's going in. Oh, I love that. What a good feeling. Hole eight, another one that we're playing to the yellows. Um, the reds is 245, like just a chip forehand. Would be kind of fun, but as far as like viewing, I think it'd probably be pretty lame to watch unless, I guess unless it went in. But yellow basket, 315, straight through this tunnel. You can go big, hyzer around this last tree on the right and kind of get it to fade in there, or you can go straight at. I think I'm gonna go straight at to start. If that one's bad, then I think I'm gonna go uh, like hyzer on the right side, so, but we'll see. Or I'll go around that way anyways. Yeah. The backhand was like in a really good spot for like a week. I haven't found it. I also probably am going to partially blame that on the tee pad because I'm throwing. Like I think if I really wanted to throw the line I wanted to throw, it would be like right here. So I think I'm coming still straight off the tee pad but trying to throw like that way. This being said, this is the actual right hand hyzer line. Get around that, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, it got through. Yeah, yeah. Haven't found the backhand in a while. That's the frustrating part is that I've been watching the best of the best throw Frisbee this week. And I'm like, oh, I need to do that with my form. I can do that with my form. It doesn't look that hard to change. And then like, I'm actively thinking about things, nothing changes. And honestly, I feel like it's maybe even getting worse. So I don't know what's happening. All right, we're gonna try two things here. I'm gonna jump putt the first one, try to go straight out, and then I'm gonna throw that zone like I did on the last hole. Mmm, <sighs> faded just in front, that was good though. Oh my gosh, I think I hit one singular chain. Hole nine, we're here, last one. 199 feet, it is just a chip forehand, it's just down into the right over this creek. I'll move the camera so you can see, but we're probably gonna throw a few at it to try to hit one. I still have not aced in Virginia, I will not leave until I do so, so maybe it happens now. We're going zone Toro, justice, justice to end it here. Swing over there. Oh, I think I hit the basket. All right. All right, that is it for today's video. That is Falling Creek Park. Um, I don't even remember what I finished. Maybe a couple under par, no bogey, so that's always good. If you like these videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. We can't do it without you guys. We got several more videos coming. We got a ton more when I'm getting back. Hopefully this is gonna be a more regular thing where we're just pumping these videos out, but make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on those notifications so you know when we post. We'll see you in the next one. Ozark Mandis to the moon. We'll see ya.